Okay guys, so here's my seven tips in action. I'll speak about what I know so it's easier for me. But uh, maybe if you've caught my stuff already and you have some lingering questions, this actually may help you out. So I'll run down these seven tips, this time utilizing Lexi as an example. So the first tip being start writing. And Lexi has been used by me in different settings and places over the years, mostly in a poetry reading situation or in writing lyrics, making music, you name it. So when I wrote a review of my second LP, it was in his frame of mind, and instead of trying to bump our own music, he more or less gave you his background story in short and explained what the lyrics and songs on the album meant. Through that, um, I did not step number two, and that was to keep writing. And I'll admit I felt silly about going off on a lot of science fiction tangents at times, but the more I explore this tactic, the more I become infatuated with it. Uh, its effectiveness is great. There's little doubt in, to my mind, why science fiction remains the most useful of cultural crystal balls. The third tactic that I used was to frame the house and furnish it later. So, well, sex, uh, whoa, <laughs> well, Lexi has an extensive background history through various articles, his recent stories have filled it even in even more. Trial and Error, for example, told the story of how Lexi came to the realization he needed to escape Area 51 if he was to survive. And even if his plight of sovereignty was denied, Doc Brown's flux capacitor catapulted him through time and space. And this is how he ended up writing Help MD, the LP he reviewed, It's a Circle. So the fourth thing is to stay specific and be vague. So unlike some writers, I'm more apt to use different media when I'm writing for jollies. So while the text may seem vague at times, it gives enough impression to the reader to grasp. Coupled with videos and pictures, it fills in a lot of the scenes and it still stays mysterious enough to allow the audience to elaborate in their own minds. Besides this, Lexi has posted about his layer, his agenda, collab and he's collaborated with Frog Dropping on that, for example, as well as why he has, he has a name and he looks a certain way. So there is a lot of things you can do to help enrich your own characters, even if people never see it at all. I tend to just like to show it because it's an evolving art form for me at all times. Um, the, first, the fifth thing I did was uh, I didn't back myself into a corner that I couldn't write out. And a lot of people don't know, but uh, Lexi was in a corner, actually. While the ending of Project 3100 to Indoctrination, uh, he had seemed to say that he was through, but hinted at a clone. At this point, I was actually going to put him on the back burner and stop writing, utilizing him, uh, writing with him anymore, uh, or at least for an indefinite period of time. But I decided uh, to continue in a new direction. This explains the Ejection series, which tells of Lexi's muckraking backfiring. Uh, making a quick escape through a portal without a body, again, he eventually finds himself in his clone place back on Earth. The latest stories continue on with this concept. Okay, so number six, always keep a notepad handy. And that did come in handy with the writing Lexi, and it still does. So, for example, one sleepless night I wrote a poem, um, and the other thing that I really created that was uh, well received was, was an article called It's Time We Go Back. And that explains space-time, quantum theory, and sprinkled in some New Age wisdom. It was arguably one of my most successful uh, articles at the time. So the final tip, accepting criticism. Lexi has tons of fans, and often he has left some interesting feedback. Generally, he tries to respond to all questions with the best of his knowledge, and with the same quirky wit I actually exhibit in real life. Uh, sometimes, though, it, it's more what a reader doesn't say that becomes more telling. And Lexi has definitely had his share of people going, what the fuck is going on here? Oops, sorry, I'll censor it. Um, and while it's easy to become more open and less of an alien, uh, Lexi's character remains to be a proverbial bag and a hug-giving machine. He's really not much more different than myself. So that's an overview of my tips in action utilizing Lexi. And I'm sure that uh, there's other examples you can give or other, uh, either from Lexi or anybody else, really, or even your own work. So I hope that helped get you more in depth into these seven tips, and hopefully there'll be some use of you someday. Anyways, I will.